set of notes, factors of affecting photosynthesis. So we have three of them. We have sunlight, availability of raw materials, and temperature are all things that are going to impact how quickly photosynthesis can occur. In our lab tomorrow, we'll be using an online simulation to investigate these more closely. We're going to talk about sunlight first. And this is the longest one and the rest of them are much shorter. With sunlight, there are two things about sunlight that can affect photosynthesis. The first one is the color of light. You may recall from middle school that white light, like the lights in this room are actually a mixture of light colors. We're going to hold it up to a prism. We get a rainbow, a full spectrum of our different wavelengths of light colors. Our eyes perceive the reflected wavelength of different colors. So green plants, because of the chlorophyll, reflect only the green wavelengths and absorb the others. So if we were to put a plant under a green light bulb, it would die due to lack of light and wouldn't be able to absorb the green light. So color of the light is important. The other factor with sunlight is light intensity. How bright it is or how much is available. So if it's really dim, if we put a plant in a shadow, as far away from the window, it's not going to do as well. We only give a plant a little bit of light every day. That's going to reduce the amount of photosynthesis done. Our next factor is the availability of raw materials, so the things that are needed or the reactants in the product, the reactants in our equation. So the two reactants we had were water and carbon dioxide. If the plant doesn't have enough of either one of these, it's going to limit or reduce the amount of photosynthesis. Most plants out in nature, water is going to be more limiting than CO2, than carbon dioxide. Part of the reason our grass here goes brown during the summertime is we don't have enough rainfall, not enough water.
Our third and final one is temperature. Temperature is a little bit different. We're going to look at our graphs here for a minute of sunlight and availability of raw materials. We give the plant more light. It's going to increase its rate, the amount of photosynthesis, until it just can't go any faster. Same thing with raw materials. It'll increase until it just can't go any faster. Temperature, though, is a little bit different. Temperature is kind of like Goldilocks. Plants want it not too cold. It's not going to work well. And not too fast. There's going to be an optimum temperature for the enzymes in the within our chloroplasts for photosynthesis to occur. So photosynthesis reactions are catalyzed by enzymes. As enzymes approach their, approach their best temperature, is in it's about in the mid to low 80s. It's the best temperature for photosynthesis. Rate increases until we reach that point. Above optimum temperature, if it gets too hot, the rate begins to decrease as the enzymes are denatured. So the enzymes change their shape until it stops. So when our grass and lawns turn brown during the summertime, there's two reasons. One's not enough water. The other one is especially once we get really hot, those days during the summer where we get temperatures up over 100, the enzymes in the plants are being denatured and can't work. it for our notes today.